Welcome to Optical Alignment of a Single Biconvex Lens from Optical Short Course International at www.oscintl.com for Optical Short Course International. We have a new course, the Introduction to Optical Alignment with Lasers, and we'll give you a quick demonstration of how to align a single biconvex lens to a laser beam. You probably know from geometry that two points make a line. So what we have here is our uh, green laser in a V-block, and that laser beam establishes our optical axis. So in space, what we want to do is we have one alignment target here. And if I put my hand over here, you might be able to see the green laser beam reflecting off the edge of my finger here. So there's a through hole right here in our alignment target. And then the alignment, uh, the laser beam comes down the optical axis and lands on our second alignment target, which doesn't have a hole in it, uh, right at the crosshairs. So you can see the beam here on my hand, and it's low enough power, and I have my laser goggles on. So uh, there's no laser hazard to me, but you should seek your uh, laser safety officer at your company's uh, analysis of your particular laser setup to make sure you're eye safe with your laser. So what we're going to do now is we're going to install our biconvex uh, lens which is in a lens mount into our beam and we're going to look at where uh, I'm just going to put it into the beam here and this biconvex lens happens to be taped on this mount because I don't have a, a mount that fits this particular biconvex lens but you can imagine that it would be set properly into a mount. So if we look over here at the front surface we can see some reflections and from a biconvex lens we'll get a reflection from the front surface uh, back onto this target and we'll also get a reflection from the back convex surface uh, that goes through the lens, it reflects off the back surface and then comes back through the front surface, it refracts according to Snell's law and ends up over here on this the back side of this front target. So uh, what we're going to look for over here, I'm going to dim the lights a little bit, make it a little bit dynamic hopefully, is what we see is our various spots. And I'm going to move the lens from side to side now and we see the spots, the return spots traveling. We see uh, we see one return spot up here and we see a second return spot down here and you can watch those move side to side when I move the lens side to side in the x-axis or if I just twist the lens we see them both move I'm doing a, a, a clockwise uh, rotation, a positive y rotation here and they both move off to the left and then I'm doing a rotation of the lens uh, negative y rotation and they both move to the other side Okay and one is more sensitive to the other and I'll let you guess which one is is more sensitive if you think about it you might be able to figure it out but we can see that these return spots are not centered on our through hole and the reason is is our lens is not centered on the beam it's it's decentered uh, and tilted in this particular state and then if we look I'm gonna swing around now and let's look at where the alignment uh, target is hitting uh, or the beam is hitting our alignment target over here it's going to be very hard to see because the camera is overexposing but right where the tip of my finger is it's hard to see but is uh, the optical axis that we had the beam aligned onto before right now the beam is about one centimeter high the center of it and it's hard to see because of our overexposure here so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the laser, the lens, uh, so that the we can get the beam right on the optical uh, target axis. So I'm moving the lens down and the spots moving down in about a one-to-one -one relationship. And right now I've got it down so that the laser beam on the on our second target here is right at the right place horizontally. And if I move the beam if I move the lens uh, side to side I can get it centered uh, in the x-axis as well so now we're centered 
on the second target. And if we go over here and look at the back of the first target now, we'll see where we, we land. And I'm, uh, what I'm doing is moving the reflection targets off to the right by tilting the lens. And it, I don't know if you can see them, but we have two targets. We have two spots right here, and we have another two spots right here that are moving. So uh, what I need to do is get those two spots, one from the front surface, one from the back surface, so that they're both overlapped uh, on top of each other and they're centered on the hole. When we have that situation, uh, then we know our lens is centered on the beam. I'm also going and looking and checking on the second target and making sure we're still centered on there like we are. I'm going to adjust my lens mount. I'm going to turn the knobs uh, for the azimuth or the lateral adjustment and I notice that my uh, return spots move horizontally and they're displaced from each other and when I get them back to about right here they're on top of each other. And then uh, if you're wondering what that is, my hand's going behind the lens and intercepting it and you're seeing basically a kind of a scattered light being focused back onto this target plane. And you can see that they're almost concentric with uh, with this alignment circles on the alignment target. Now I'm going to adjust the lens uh, in elevation and I can watch my spots uh, move together, make sure they're overlapped and now that they're both overlapped uh, I check on my back target and I find that uh, I'm still on the center where we needed to be and so now what we have is an aligned uh, lens, turn the lights back on, we have an aligned lens and what you might notice here if I zoom in a little bit is you might notice and be able to see the retro reflection targets one is just above one is right up here above the hole, another one is down here below the hole. But they're, they're centered and there's actually two pairs, one from the front surface and one from the back surface uh, that are aligned on top of each other. And so that's how you do an, an optical alignment of a, uh, of a single uh, biconvex lens to a laser beam. You need two targets. Uh, one with a hole in it, a second one without. You get those alignment targets lined up to the laser beam. Then you install your lens, your biconvex lens or your biconcave lens in between the two targets and look at the reflection from both the surfaces on the first target and then make sure uh, back here on the second target uh, that your, uh, your beam is still aligned to the initial point where it was when the beam was not or when the lens was not installed in the system. Thank you very much. If you're interested in more techniques of optical alignment, please visit our website at www.oscintl.com and see our Introduction to Optical Alignment with Lasers course. It's ten and a half hours on five DVDs of optical alignment techniques, the fundamentals, what equipment to use, and various examples of how to use that to do simple to complex optical alignments and also troubleshooting of optical alignment systems and also how to create your own optical alignment procedure of complex optical instruments. Thank you.